Hey everybody, Brian Baticle here. And recently I have kind of branched out into a new area of video gaming that I've really never delved in before. And that is the buying and reselling of video games. Seems like a perfect match to me, but after watching a bunch of people on YouTube like Phoenix Resale and Retro Rick, uh, they really inspired me to go out and kind of do the same thing, see if I could do it. They're kind of more up north. I'm in a big metropolitan area down south, so I wanted to see if I could do it. So this is one instance to where I kind of took a little gamble. They call me gambling Baticle, you know. No, they don't actually call me that. But I, uh, as you can see here, I bought a box. I don't know what was in this box, but it was a Facebook Marketplace uh, ad that I answered. And it was for uh, $50 and it was a box of stuff. It had three systems in it and they didn't know what it was and well i thought it'd make some interesting content so i decided to film the whole thing and this is what happened hey everybody all right so we have this box that i purchased for fifty dollars so i have no idea what's in this box it was listed as it's got some systems in it it's a mystery box, right? So I am still working on the setup for my room here, but um, I wanted to make a little documentary about this box, our, our special surprise box. So I'll say first off that I actually got excited when I saw this written on it. I don't know if you can really see it from there, but it says Sega Saturn. So I was real excited at first. And that's why I thought this might have potential. I have no idea what's in here though. So what we'll do is we'll take everything out. Um, this was right on top. It's a PS3. Uh, I don't know what that stuck to that is. It's obviously missing some parts. So it looks like it's just the sign. It's just in two sides, it looks like. The front side and the back side. I don't even know if I can turn it on with it like this. I gotta do some research on this one. Um, this is the Super Slam PS3. So, I mean, if I could get it to work, it would pay for the whole box. <laughs> All right, so that's, that's item number one. I don't know what this is. I. I really don't know what that is. Oof. All right, so next up we have, oh God, I should have worn gloves or something. I, I don't know what any of this is. This is, it looks like cotton candy or gum or something. I don't know. I mean, well, obviously it's a 360. It's got a hard drive. Um, let's see here. It is the, oh, okay, cool. It doesn't tell us what size it is on the back, yeah. Nope. Oof, all right. So, <laughs> we'll have to figure that out later. Um, it does look like it's all intact and it's got all the pieces and everything. So who knows if it'll turn on. It's probably original uh, run of it. And then uh, the third system we have here is a PlayStation 1. It actually is in the best shape out of all of these three, even though it's the oldest out of all of these. It is a 9000 series though, so uh, it was made, um, what, 99, something like that? So um, it is not the one with the AV on the back, so it is a little bit newer model. And the buttons feel good. And it, it all, like my... <laughs> The, uh, the two of the prongs are missing on the little CD tray, which is common for the PlayStations, but um, out of all of them, I feel like that's going to work the best. All right, so now we get into what the hell else is in here. I, I don't know. I don't know. They, uh, we have, I, oh, hey, you know, these are rare. You know, a, uh, oof, I don't even think I want to use them. I'm just going to throw it. Oh my God, what is this? I should have worn gloves. It's it's a PlayStation 2 controller, I guess. One, I don't, I'm just gonna throw it away. I don't, let's go over here. 
It's a trash pile. Ah, HDMI cord. It's hard to f those up. Oops, I probably shouldn't be cursing. It's going on YouTube. Another HDMI cable. So we got two HDMI cables. That's good. All right, this is the uh, this is the PlayStation power cord. So I'll put that with that. This is the PlayStation 1 power cord. Ooh, <laughs> actually I see something in here that might be interesting. Um, God, some RCA cables that I don't even know. I'm gonna go, oh! <laughs> wow, all right, cool. Well, this also might pay for almost the whole box. There is a, Pokemon Gold cartridge in here. Holy shit. Wow. All right. Well then, this is a good surprise. I had no idea there's anything Game Boy related in there. So this is probably the best thing out of this box so far. Um, wow. Um, this is an extender cable, but I don't think it's the official one for the PlayStation controller. So that's a maybe. Oh, great. Uh, here's an empty box of nerds. That's fantastic. Um, a, a mechanical pencil. Fantastic. All right. Uh, he, that's interesting. All right. So this actually might be worth something. I don't know. Um, it's the startup disc for the PlayStation 2 network adapter. Why they have it, I have no idea. That could be worth something, though. Um, what else do we have? We have it. Okay. It's a uh, power cable, power brick for, um, I don't know, it's for something, something real tiny. It doesn't have a, it's not an official video game anything. This might be a toss. I don't know, I might keep it. Um, here's an old dock for a Samsung. I'm just gonna throw that away. Uh, more RCA cables. There's two sets of RCA cables. All right, cool. Whatever. Whatever. I guess I can use those. I actually don't know. Um, oh, interesting. All right, so I got two more chargers here. Uh, one of these is, yeah, this is for a Game Boy Advance SP, which if that's in there, oh, sh we're going to be in, in business. Uh, so that's actually really good. An official Game Boy Advance SP charger. And then this is a uh, Game Boy Advance AC adapter right here. So uh, that's also, also good. Um, it's a little bit harder to find the official ones nowadays since uh, the third party ones are pretty prolific. They're easy to find. Oh my God. I don't mean, I. I, I, I don't know about these. So it's all these PlayStation. I think this came with the PlayStation magazine or the, I'm sorry, the PlayStation magazine, the Xbox magazine. It's uh, a bunch of demo discs. Actually, you know what? Let me check to make sure that's actually what's in there. Yeah, Xbox, Xbox magazine, um, Xbox magazine. Magazine. I don't know if these are worth anything. Xbox Magazine. It's all these demos for stuff. That's all that's in those. There's actually quite a few of them. Um, oh! There's a code breaker for PlayStation 2 in here. This actually might, might be worth something. Oh, it's the Pelican one. I don't know about that. That, that's a maybe, Pelican Code Breaker. Uh, oh, a, uh, I don't even think that's in there, it's not in there. Smackdown Demo Disc, that's not in there. Uh, this is in there though. Alter Echo Demo Disc. Uh, <laughs> a sealed Smackdown Demo Disc, uh, more. And they'll be the show. I think those were, those were free at GameStop. If I remember the game. Maybe this person looks at game stuff. I don't know. 
burnout demo disc. I don't know if demo discs are actually worth anything or not. You can look them up. I mean, the, the old PlayStation ones might be, but I don't know about 360. I guess 360 is technically old now too, right? Uh, we're getting near the bottom of the box. It's not looking good for that Game Boy SP. All right. These are all Xbox 360 magazine demo discs. Fear Effect demo disc, uh, Game Day 2000 demo disc. Oh, hey, a Dragon Quest uh, 8 demo disc. That's good. Oh, a Dell utility thing. Great. Trash. Roxio. Something. Dell something. Right. Uh, here's a piece to. I think. I don't know what that goes to. Uh, Destroy All Humans demo disc. Ugh. God, it's so sticky and gross. It's a. I, I don't know what kind of. It's a USB. Soviet Strike Field Manual from EA. That might be interesting. I don't know about that. Bag of trash. One of those Nerf PS3 controllers. A thing. A demo desk. Picture frame. <laughs> uh, oh! Is it? No, oh, just a deck of cards. I saw a moon on it and I got excited. I thought I was going to see other moon. Deck of cards. It's not. Um, Capcom, demo disc, Fight Night, Dell. Oh god, I gotta go sanitize. I am assuming. Those are all gonna be the same thing. Demo disc. Memory card, Pelican. Uh, a roll of tape. Some random fuck wire. Well, no Game Boy SP. How to learn the piano. I'm gonna throw the rest of this shit away. That's going. Yeah, this is this this is going straight to garbage. You know what? This can go in the garbage. All right, that is it. Uh, there's not even enough cords to test some of the stuff. I, you know what? This is all two Game Boy chargers. <laughs> the Pokemon Gold saves the day, and it's it is definitely uh, the original. It's not. Um, it's not a uh, remake or anything. <laughs> Is it worth 50 bucks? I don't know. Uh, well, let me get these hooked up with some of the cords I got. Maybe I can see if they work or not. And I'll record that. Alright, so first console after I clean it up still looks better. Couldn't get that, whatever that is, off of it. And I had to go get my power supply for my 360. And lo and behold, it actually uses a different little power supply. So I am not able to test this. I don't even know if I want to try to buy a power supply for it. I guess I'll look and see how much it costs, but I am not sure. Maybe I can sell the hard drive. Um, so I, I, I just, all right, so we're not doing too good. Uh, the power cord for this one isn't the same as this one either. Um, it kind of turned on, but I don't think it's the right one. Um, it This is one of those ones that has the two circles, and then this one has the square in the circle, kind of. So I gotta go find that one. Um, yeah. So luckily I, uh, I still have all my cords for everything, so 
plugged it in and nothing. Nothing. All right, so we have the PS3 hooked up, but I, I, I don't know how to turn it on from here in this condition. All right, so the hard button's down here. Nothing. The eject button does eject, but I think that's mechanical and not powered. It did make a noise when I plugged the power in. There's a light. Oh! And then nothing. Hmm. And nothing. Try one more time. Light. Then nothing. And also nothing on the screen either, so. Oh for three, baby! Now that didn't exactly turn out how I thought it would, but you might find gold anywhere. Yeah, well anyway, so I looked up some prices and I did some things. And I honestly don't know if I can get any of those systems working. So as of right now, I'm not going to include what those could be worth. Um, I have no clue. No clue right now. So interesting, though, uh, those demo discs actually came out to being about a dollar a piece. There was 26 of them. So those have been lotted up and put on eBay. Uh, the Code Breaker by Pelican actually was the biggest surprise at being valued at about like 40 to $50. So I have mine listed right now. And then also the network adapter startup disc, brand new sealed, uh, also listed um, for about eight to $10. So that's on there as well. And then of course, Pokemon Gold. Um, it was great to see that in there. It worked perfect. I tested it out and it is uh, going for about a uh, little, probably a little bit inflated right now because of the holidays but uh, going for about $25 to $30. So uh, I, if everything sells, I'll make my money back and I won't have to worry about those dumb systems. But if I fix those dumb systems, that's even more. So uh, I would actually honestly like to get more of these mystery bundles. I find them pretty fun. So if you have a mystery bundle, let me know. And also in the comments, let me know if you would have taken this gamble. Uh, I took some before and after pictures, so you guys can see exactly uh, if you would have taken this. I'll see if I can actually find the original uh, post as well. Put that right there. Huh? Huh? Okay, cool. So um, let me know if you guys would have taken the same gamble. And if you enjoyed the video or not, don't forget to give me a uh, thumbs up. I'm, I'm, I'm new to this YouTube thing, so... And also, if you'd like to see future content in regards to my reselling adventures, please let me know. Because I'm having a lot of fun doing them. I hope you have fun watching it. See ya! Hey guys, I just wanted to give a quick update. Uh, as you can see, we've sold a couple things. So we sold the Pokemon Gold right here for... $26 and we also sold the demo discs for $25 so that right there covers the cost for the box and then just last night sold the code breaker for $49 so it was profitable <laughs>